be back on the air again tonight. And uh, we'll be very careful again not to hit our telephone. Amen. And uh, switch this thing off. And we thank the Lord for another day. We praise His holy name. It's been a beautiful day today. I don't know what it's like in your area, but we been a beautiful day here. Amen. The weather's nice and skies are just as blue and pretty fall looking weather, man, here and wind been blowing a little bit and beautiful. Been trying to drill well and, and my pipe busted in the hole, praise God, we're still happy. <laughs> Amen. We love the Lord. Amen. The Bible says in all things give thanks. Amen. And uh but uh, we uh, we love the Lord and looking for Jesus to come back. I hope you're saved tonight. I thought about Brother Rod out there. <clears throat> if you're listening tonight, and say hello to Brother Rod up here in French Lake, Indiana. Brother Paul and him's out there tonight. <clears throat> Amen. We say hi to them always. And uh, others out there that might be listening, uh, might be people in Iowa and North Carolina and places like that, and be listening tonight here on Crusade Radio, and uh, we appreciate those that do listen, and uh, <clears throat> well, I really don't know what to preach on tonight, to be honest with you, uh, I got some things I'm going to share, you know, scriptures, yeah, I'm going to read here in a minute, uh, but we're in, a, we're in a terrible mess, folks, here in America. And I don't even know what to say about it anymore. You know, what more can you preach on what I've said? You know, I've looked up a few things and you know, on some preachers and stuff and what they're saying. And even go, I mean, I'm not the only one out here today that, that sees it. Uh, we live over here in, in an area where the, where the Muslims got their camp set up. It's one of them. There's three of them that I know of in, in America and one of them's over here. And uh, this one here is the smallest one, but they we drove by there today. I not to go by there, but they's called the the Islamicville or something like that of the America, and they call it Islamville over here. And uh, very hateful people. You know, I've seen uh, controversy on this a while ago, even pulling on one news or something like that, and. Uh, and I don't know why people think the Muslims are, are, are a peacemaking people. That's a lie. And those people get on YouTube that say they're Muslims and say they're peacekeepers. They're liars, man, or they're not true Muslims. Because I met them. I met, I met I, these Muslims over here and the ones I've met in Georgia are not the same Muslims that talk or write on the, on the, on the YouTube. Hey, Amen. They're not the same folks that, that, that I have met. Now, you can say all you want to, and America can say all you want to, and you Americans can say all you want to. I mean, there's people even writing on the YouTube about, you know, that, that, that uh, the, the, the Islams, uh, you know, they're not bad people. I'm like, well, you're stupid, man. I mean, really. I mean, you really want to meet them, then you go out there. Hey, I'll tell you what you do. You leave wherever you are. You go down to, to, to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and you go down there, right down there where the martyr station is, martyr. Amen. Hey, it's probably going to be a martyr station one day for the, for the saints of God. And there are some people down there that are passing out tracks, hey, amen. There's some guys out there, an older man, when I used to live out there, and it's been several years ago, but he'd be down there preaching, man, and there's this woman down there. She'd be out there passing tracks out, man. And that was her church. And, a, and another woman out there, and maybe possibly even another man, they were standing out there passing out tracks. I didn't know they were down there. I preached down there in the, in the, the park down there, winter park down there in the middle of Atlanta during the winter months. Amen. To the homeless people down there that these churches won't go down there and preach to. But I went down there and preached to them and I loved them in the Lord. They were so don't tell me I don't love people in the Lord. But I preached down there and I met those Muslims that you Americans say are great people. They're a bunch of lying hypocrites because the Muslims that I have met are very hateful people. They hate Christians. They hate anybody that preaches Jesus Christ. I don't care what you say.
say, I have met them. I have met the ones that people say that aren't here in America. I have literally met them. The ones over here by where we live, they are very hateful people. They hate Christians. And I mean in a hate. I don't mean the hate that God has. God has a, God himself has a perfect hatred. He does hate. He hates all the workers of iniquity. Psalms 5, 5. When will you Christians start believing the Bible? God does hate. David said that he hates them with a perfect hatred. God's hatred is perfect and he does hate the workers of iniquity. He didn't say he hates the sin or the iniquity. He said he hates the workers of iniquity. But God's hatred is perfect. But the Islamic veil people, their hatred is hatred. There is a difference. There is a difference between their hatred and the hatred of God. They have no God, but they hate anyone that professes the name of Jesus Christ. Don't tell me I have met them. I don't know who you've met, and I don't know who these people truly are on YouTube to say they're, 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 they're Muslims. And the Koran, when you study the Koran, you can find it in the Koran. So you can say all you want to, Muslims. You can curse me all you want to, Muslims. You're still going to go to hell. Every one of you out there that say that you're a Muslim, well then something's wrong with you if you can say that you follow the Koran. But because the Koran calls me an infidel, does it not? But I'm not. You are. 